On the 14th of April 2014, 276 schoolgirls were abducted by insurgents reportedly from Boko Haram sect in Chikbok village, Borno State, Nigeria. Today, almost six months after the girls were abducted, all efforts to secure their release Aside the handful of them who have since escaped from their captors has proved abortive. But then Good Luck Jonathan's administration has promised to secure their release all in fear. Pictures of the girls held in captivity have been released by the Boko Haram sect. The parents were also compensated by the Nigerian government, but of course, not in its office for the life of a child. Here, we take a look at some of the highlights of the efforts in the United Kingdom to ensure I am standing just outside the Nigerian House, which houses the Nigerian High Commission, London, United Kingdom. Just across the road, for the past few weeks, there have been a number of protests galvanizing Nigerians and the international community to ensure the release of over 200 girls that were abducted in Chibok village, Bono State, Nigeria. In less than an hour, the Nigerian women in Diaspora Leadership Forum, members will be gathering just around here to stage another protest. The call has gone virtually around the world that the militants who are holding these girls hostage to let them free. I will keep you informed. Would you mind introducing yourself and tell us why I'm you're here? I'm Tony Chikoka for President Nigerian Women in Diaspora Leadership Forum. Okay, so what's the essence of today's um, protest? To bring our girls back. And how do you think this is going to help, you know, towards bringing, um, securing the release of the girls? We do not want the world to forget about us. This is, an, it is a very important thing that has happened in our country and knowing that all the news uh, materials will come and then that will, that will overtake this. We want to keep this in the mind of the world, to keep pressure on everybody, not only Nigerian government, but everybody in the whole world to recognize that this is a global issue. We want everybody to come to our support. We want them to help us. We are not going to rest until these children are back. If we sit back and we do nothing, Boko Haram will take it for granted that it's right to conscript girls and put them in camps and nobody does anything. We need to put pressure. We want to actually keep up the momentum. We want to uh, express our disgust uh, at what is happening in Nigeria. We're very unhappy and uh, we're protesting against uh, the abduction of our girls. We want those girls back, whatever it takes. And we're asking the federal government to expedite action to negotiate with Fukuara, whatever it takes, even if they have to exchange prisoners. We are totally in support of negotiation to the Fukuara. All we want is that these girls are returned back to Nigeria, to their parents.
Professor Zangio, um, being a the counsellor of um, Stoke Newton, you've found time out of your busy schedule to be involved in um, this protest. This is the 100th day of the uh, missing Chibok girls. What would you say is the way forward from this moment? Well, thanks very much. The way forward at this point in time is to keep the momentum. We know, uh, we heard that the government, the federal government of Nigeria are doing their possible best to get the girls back, but because of uh, issues that is limited their ability to be able to rescue the girls from Boko Haram camps, that is being difficult. But we believe the Nigerian government need to go on the table. Yes, we don't support the I don't support negotiating with terrorists, but these are girls, these are children, we need to bring them back. If that means negotiating with terrorists, so be it. But I think it is important for Nigerians and the Nigerian government to keep the momentum going and to ensure that the kids are back, back safe and sound. Um, what's the name? Antoinette Additional. Okay. And um, how do you get, you know, involved in what's going on here today? Well, I found out. I found out by Facebook, which is actually a pathetic way to find out that so many girls were stolen. There was no news coverage. We didn't. We didn't hear anything on Nigerian news. Nothing on international news. I found out by Facebook, and um, there's a page set up called bring back our girls on Facebook and they've just been trying to spread information about marches going on in London and the US so that people can get out and the international media can please take notice. If our, if our government's not doing enough, then we need international help. There's no point saying that, oh, this is a black issue, this is an African, this is a Nigerian issue, this is a human rights issue. And if our government refuse to do anything, then we have to ask for help. And that's what we're doing now. even more despicable is the fact that no one in the government seems to want to do anything about it or take it given the, the seriousness that it deserves. But for the protests that are still being held, the story of the girls seems gradually becoming a thing of the past. President Goodluck Jonathan's administration seems so weighed down busy with other important things, it is dedicating less and less time for the bring back our girls issue. Furthermore, the bring back Goodluck 2015 hashtag in place of the bring back our girls one on the streets of Abuja before it was checked by the presidency indicates that some are even ready to rewrite history regarding the plight of the girls. A word for the parents whose words are missing. What the, my message as a mother is to say to them, hanging in there, we hope and we are praying that the girls will come back home to you. Just continue to pray and have that strong faith that my child is out there and I'm expecting her back very soon. What message do you have for the parents of the missing girls as a mother? Yeah, as a mother, be strong. Your pains are my pains. Your pains are our pains. I find it difficult to know that I can go home and sleep know where my own children are and you don't know where your own children are but be be strong be faithful we will not sleep we're standing with you and we will get these children back thank you thank you very much